Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your August 7th through the 31st love reading. This is intended to be a love reading and they don't even want to stay in my hands. I'm going to let these go. Looks like you've been through some bullshit. Yep, looks like you have been through some bullshit and you are finally coming out on the other end. Thank you Lord. You've been through the thorns and, um, you know, you're now in the pasture. Thank you, God. Perhaps somebody from the past is coming back into your life. Um, maybe. Let's see what happens. Thank you to all my subscribers uh, and commenters and watchers. I really appreciate your support. All right. So here we have that you have finally, or you're about to. Okay. Now this is going to resonate. Could resonate right around the seventh. Could be already happened. Could be. Could resonate around the fifteenth. You know. It, it's when it's right for you, okay? And this may not resonate with everybody. But here we have you coming through the thorns, going through some bullshit, getting to the other side, finally in the pasture, okay? Finally letting go of something. Finally getting through, okay? Then we have, here we have, this is somebody from the past. It's the Six of Cups. It's usually somebody, you know, could be somebody from your childhood. Um, here we have... Um, this is the world. This is the last card in the deck. This is when you have learned a major lesson. A major, major life lesson has just been completed. You have just learned something very, very big. And it has. And now it's time to start on another one. Okay? Something, another big, new, long-term project. Okay? Is on the horizon for you. Okay, here we have... This is a Leo, but it's also the strength card. This is saying that it is time to surrender. It's time to surrender to... Uh, the universe, it's time to um, open up. It's a very successful time for you. Um, it's going to take some courage, some strength um, to surrender, okay? To surrender to the universe, to surrender to, every, to everything that's happened, all right? Here we have the Mother of Pentacles. This is a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Could be the person from the past, okay? Here you are, and here you are. I mean, and here you are, but here you are scared, all right? Here you are scared. What the hell are you scared of? It looks like you feel like you're going to be cheated on, or you feel like you're being tricked by somebody, but, oh, God, this is wishy-washy, okay? So you're having these feelings, and they're up and down, kind of like a roller coaster, Okay, perhaps you want to start a new journey with somebody. You're very attracted to them. But then again, you're still worried about it. You're still, you know, your thoughts are getting the better of you. And I think that you're still, you're worried about this water sign, Taurus, uh, Capricorn, or Virgo. Um, you know, but you have the opportunity. This is a new partnership, a, a vibrant new partnership for your new phase of life. But... Here, you feel like you're being tricked. And here you are. Here you are. You're just, this is how you're feeling. You're feeling tricked, but you're attracted, and your head is a mess. Perhaps in the past, the, what, the, whoever you've been with, maybe they had more than one partner, and you became aware of it, and that's why you're feeling, you know, like you can't trust anybody. You know, I mean, that's just a, that this isn't going to resonate with everybody. But um, here we have, this is an Aries person connected to you. And maybe they are the ones that maybe um, caused you to go through the thorns. That could very well be. But this is saying, um, this person, this can often represent Taurus or Aries. 
or and it can it can really any of the mothers but anyway I, I consider it Taurus Virgo or Aries um, and you have Taurus up here um, is very motherly very motherly very nurturing caring loving beautiful inside and out this person but you still feel you're wary about them you're wary about them you're wary about is this is what the hell I'm not is this true is this true is this is this person really all that is, is he really that beautiful he or she really that beautiful on the inside too I mean is, is this really true um, you know because you you're thinking about starting a new journey with them I think you're thinking about it you know and you would but <laughs> I think that you've been hurt in the past maybe there's been some cheating in the past I don't know I don't know but I see that here you, this is confidence, strength, um, letting go, ready to open up. This is a new partnership, okay? A new partnership on your new journey. You will be with somebody, okay? You will. Um, perhaps somebody still has to make a choice. Maybe it's you. Maybe you need to choose between two people. Somebody needs to choose. Maybe somebody needs to get out of a relationship with somebody. I'm not sure. This right here is the Two of Swords. This is pretending you have been pretending that there's no that nothing is going on with this person have you been hiding your feelings for this pentacles for this earth sign that's what it looks like to me it likes maybe you've been blocking them out or something because this is pretending that you know they're not a potential partner maybe i don't know or pretending that um you're not attracted to them. This is about pretending. This is the two of swords. This is about ignoring. It's a stalemate because you can't make a decision. Tell you what, this person can lead to a very comfortable, happy home. And now this person is connected to your past, okay? So this person right here, this uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo person who has been fucking with your head and causing you, you don't know what to do about it, you know, they can, they can leave you, they can give you a very happy, comfortable home, you know, and it would, and you could celebrate with them, you could, it could lead to a marriage, okay, or an engagement, but you're so freaking worried about it, you're so worried about, um, something, you know, I think that some kind of, cheating or trickery or lies or something but this person is now that this is somebody from the past okay all right now this right here this is the four of wands this is about contentment this is also about a commitment okay here we have the daughter of swords this is a air sign uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius Perhaps you're looking at them or they're looking at you. Okay. Perhaps there's a lot of, um, you know, checking each other out. I think you're both checking each other out pretty good. Pretty, really, really, really good. Um, I think you are. And I think you're just, you just, you, you see how beautiful this person is. And they probably the same thing. I think you guys are on the same level. Okay. It can, you can, you have the potential for a lot of of happiness a lot of happiness no doubt I think you're both very interested in each other um, this is often the you know stalking but sometimes it can be in a good way somebody's watching you somebody's interested in you they're they're quite you know they really want to know more about you okay so I think that's both of you I think that's you and this other person August 7th to the 31st for Cancer. <laughs> Maybe you've betrayed them in the past and, and you're scared. Maybe they've betrayed you in the past. There's some kind of betrayal here. There's some kind of betrayal, and that could be with somebody else. Some you could somebody else could have betrayed you, and now you're scared to go on to the next one. 
Because that's you scared of this new partnership. I don't know why. <laughs> now we have it twice. Being unable or unwilling to make a decision. A stalemate. Pretending there is no problem. There is a problem. Like I said, have you been pretending that, there, that this person doesn't exist when they really do? And you feel it? This is the King of Wands. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. This is the King of Wands. This is a fire sign. Okay? Um, this Take action. Communicate with this person. That's what this says. Communicate. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Don't just wait for nothing to happen. Put your, You have to do it. Motivational, ambitious, charismatic, ideal, idealistic. This is advice for you. Take on this ener energy. Communicate with this person. Tell them something. It's going to take strength and confidence and courage to do that. Balance. The need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. Okay? So here, I'm telling you to communicate, communicate, communicate. This says wait for perfect timing. And that's perfect that it came up so you don't be impulsive. That's excellent that this came up so you don't just jump right into it. Make sure it's the right time before you communicate. But then do it. You do need to communicate, but make sure you it's the perfect time for you. Okay? Don't just be impulsive about it. Um... The need for balance and moderation right over this Nine of Swords. You've been depressed over this situation. Maybe you felt guilty. Maybe you, you've been losing sleep. Maybe it's been really stressing you out. Perhaps you need to gather your emotions. Master them again because I know you're the master of your emotions. So maybe you need to rebalance that out before you communicate with this person. That's just, I don't know, I don't know if that's right, but I think it is. Okay, we're going to get some of these Angel Romance cards for you, Cancer. Hmm, it's true. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. They're not your usual type. This person is not your usual type. They're not. They don't look like your usual type. They don't act like your usual type. But your magnetic pull is so strong. Okay? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate. That's your soulmate I'm talking about. This is right here over this wands person. Okay, this is um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's whoever you need to let go of, okay, to get here. I think I said I think you need to make a choice. It's right here, too, over this fire sign. And that's the world. Didn't you have another fire sign? Maybe that was the last reading. Hmm. We got Leo right there. Anyway, um... For some reason, I think it, I thought I thought there was another fire sign. Anyway, I think that this unrequited love is with a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. There's not. Why stay in a situation where there's it's just not there? This one's over here. This is over with this pile, so it's over here with this. Honeymoon. Doesn't have to be a virtual wedding honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Maybe you take three or four days or two days, a weekend, and go do something together and get to know each other. The bottom of the deck. Yes, this is your soulmate. It is. I believe it is. I just think that you need to... I think you're denying something. I think you're in denial over something. 
That's what I think. I got this new deck. It's because I think you're in denial because your soulmate differs from your usual type type and expectations. You're looking for your usual type, but your usual type hasn't worked. I mean, if you're single right now, your usual type hasn't worked. And your soulmate, this one, your soulmate differs from your usual type. This is my new deck. I'm going to have to read out of the book until I get them down. I'm going to pull one card. It's Vintage, Vintage Wisdom Oracle. One card for Cancer. For Taurus, I got two, so we'll see what happens. Oh, isn't that perfect for you? Because I know that you don't trust, especially with this little guy right here. That truly shows that you are not trusting. Okay. Trust. I'm going to read it to you. Although we already know what that means. A stag, a symbol of healing, love, and fertility, is sacred to the fairies of Ireland and Scotland. Also revered in shamanic cultures as a healing totem, the stag instinctively knew which medicinal plants to eat in order to shake off, hunter's arrow, off a hunter's arrow. The image just depicts an atmosphere of harmony and ease between the dainty fairy queen and her stag. He peacefully carries her through an enchanted jungle without navigation or use of reins. The stag has earned the right to her trust and the affinity they share is built on a foundation of unspoken understanding. That's for this person. From an earthly, earthly perspective, trust is a fragile flower, difficult to earn but easily broken. At some point in our lives, we must all endure lessons regarding trust, which deepen our understanding of life and enable us to discern more wisely. These components are both integral, integral and vital to our spiritual growth. When we lose sight of our place within the bigger picture, broken trust can lead to blame and bitterness, restricting our capacity to live in the moment and fully give and receive with a whole heart. It's true. I truly see this for you. Sometimes hurtful experiences can be seen as blessings that come to test our strength, because we have strength up there, and result in a desire to seek our deeper meanings to life. The presence of this card highlights your need to trust your judgment or that of another person or situation. Now may, now may be a time to confront old patterns, like I said. The past hasn't worked. That's funny. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> confront old patterns seated by your lack of trust. Or a, pro or a hmm, propensity to misplace trust in some way. There are no coincidences in karma. So if you struggle to see the justice in a situation, trust that you are only given what is necessary for your highest good. Look for valuable insights hidden amid disappointment or the rewards of a wise decision. Both have equal power. Your relationship to life is a direct reflection of your ability to trust your own powers of discrimination and to embrace the wisdom of your divine and knowing nature. Allow the power of love to loosen negative attachments and focus on any areas in need of soothing presence of trust. So Cancer, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Please know this won't resonate with everybody or resonate with some. And uh, there you have it. Talk to you soon.